today with my sister, Snowy Husky. Say hi. Hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial with you guys. And before we start, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for being so supportive. And as I said before in the last video, I did lose one of my channels and I am so bummed about that. But I am so glad that I brought up the courage to make a new one. And again, thank you so much. So you're probably wondering why my sister Snowy has a bag on her head. Well, it's because we're doing a makeup tutorial. And since we are Huskies, it well, we only want to do makeup that we're permanently going to wear forever and ever. So basically pick a makeup design that you like and it's going to be a while before you get it off. Now we have no foundation here because we are huskies but we're going to get with the basics and basically do everything else that we can. So we probably should get to it right now and also these are gigantic palettes for me but maybe not for you. So anyways let's get to it so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put on the bronzer so let's okay. start so sometimes bronzer takes a while to master and you kind of want to find the color that fits you the most and fits your skin tone for me and snowy since we are gray and white we would probably go with the lightest tone and sometimes if there are no tones that match it or that match us i would even want to go with or you can even replace that with a eyeshadow like a white eyeshadow for us would probably be ideal but you don't want to use too much of it because makeup is again very expensive so i'm going to do that and I'm going to come back to you once I get done. Okay guys, so I went ahead and took the bag off Snowy's head for this one because I realized that foundation doesn't really stick well when it is applied to a plastic bag. So everything else will stick well to the bag except for the blush, which I'm going to do in a minute. But really quick, I'm going to explain why I just put on this unicorn pajamas and that is because I realized that it might be a little hard for you to tell me and my sister Snowy apart. I mean Snowy is going to be the one with all of the makeup on and I'm not really going to do any but if you're like don't really look at us too well then you might not even see any similarities at all. And if you watch this video a lot then you probably will get to know us better and we'll get to know our shapes and faces but i will get to that in another video because like even how to tell us apart maybe but in the future i plan to do a video where me and snowy or where me and all of my siblings get together and I explain about each and every one of us so you can get a better understanding. So anyways, next thing to do is probably going to be the blush. So you want to pick lighter tones for the blush if you have a lighter skin tone. It's basically the same as the bronzer, but you want to pick something that stands out but doesn't stand out too well. So for me and Snowy, again, it is going to be the lighter blush. So let's get to this really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lightest blush tone to her face. Scrunch hairspray is not sponsored, but I just wanted to show you the bottle. And for me, it'll definitely last not even a long time. It is a ginormous bottle. But if you mess up and put on a and put on the wrong tone and you can't get it out of your fur 
Like if you were a human, you would definitely not need this. But if you are a dog like me, then you probably will. It will probably get rid of every single thing on your face. And, but it does not get rid of eyeliner. It only gets rid of blush and bronzer. And I think it also gets rid of eyeshadow too. But I would not suggest putting it near your eyes at all. Just maybe rub a little bit on your cheeks if you mess up. But never use too much. So anyways, let's get on to the video. So the next makeup item that you need to use is eyeliner. Eyeliner. So the next makeup tool that you need to use is eyeliner. is what darkens your skin tones or what darkens the tones around your eyes and around your eyelashes where you would put mascara unfortunately I'm not using mascara on her face so we're going to have to do the bag for that one because mascara for us I mean we can barely put it on the top of our fur because if we mess up there's barely anything that can get rid of it one time my sister messed up thunder and she can barely get that out it took her an extremely long time but again that really worked for her so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner to snowy's face and i'll get back to so you so next i think we are going to start off with the mascara Mascara is going to be on the bag for Snowy this time, but I'm going to get right back on the vid when I get done with it. As you can see, there is so much on the plastic bag and too much mascara on the plastic bag. And the main reason why we use the plastic bag is so can we can or is so we can do this. As you can see, the background is a towel if you didn't know, and we can just wipe it like that. And voila, all done. Now back to applying the mascara. So as you can see, I have decided to do the eyeliner like so, just perfectly so I can erase it on the plastic bag. And unfortunately, if you do that on fur, it will be so easier, but I didn't want to take my chances because I am not skilled at doing the makeup on Snowy's fur. So again, I really didn't want to take my chances today. So I think I'm going to just do the next item, which would be, drumroll please, The eyeliner so I think I'm going to get right into the eyeliner right now and I am going to start that and remember please watch till the end for the finished product okay guys so I know it's really not the best <laughs> but that's because the eyeliner or the eyeshadow I mean didn't really stick to the plastic and I just want you guys to get an idea of it. And I really didn't want to delete anything because these are like the basic makeup hacks that everybody should know. I know that some people or huskies like to put a dot or like a little heart under where they did the eyeliner. And all I like to do, I don't really like to go around the eye because then if I mess up, then you'll end up looking like a raccoon. And I really don't want that to happen. So the next thing that you need to do is the lipstick. Now there's so many colors of lipstick that you can do, but I really like to pick the lipstick that matches the best you. It needs to match two, or it needs to match, yeah, three things. It needs to match your blush, your bronzer, if you put on bronzer. I know some people don't. Well, your blush, 
your bronzer or your foundation. And most importantly, it needs to match the eyeshadow. Because if it doesn't, then I don't even know what it's going to look like. Well, anyways, I think that you might want to get on with it. And also, if you are a husky like us then and not a human, then you might want to use a lipstick that hasn't been used yet. Because it has like the perfect curve and you can use it over and over again, but I really don't like to sharpen it. So enough talking and let's get on with it. Oops, I fell. So what you want to do is outline the lips like so. I mean, I honestly really, really don't like lipstick because I mean, look at how it makes her look. I mean, I think Huskies have really cute faces and I like it just like that. Maybe you want to add like a little line, sure, but I honestly don't even like that. So for the final product, I think I'm just going to show you what I did to her face because I feel like that is definitely more important than this. Also, if you're a husky, then you could add a tiny little bit of lip gloss. Not a dark lip gloss, just a light lip color or lip gloss. So anyways, let's take off this bag and touch up the makeup and then we could be all finished. And then we'll get straight to the finished product. Okay, so now that we're all finished, I would just like to show you the finished product. Now, this is how you would look if you didn't put on all of the mascara and the eyeshadow and I think the lipstick. You could add a little bit of lip gloss, but in case it stays, I wouldn't want it hanging around too much. So anyways, I like her just how she looks. So I think it would be perfect just to make it like that. Now if you do mess up a little bit like I did, just take the brush and line it. And if it's not coming off like that, again, you could use a spray like this. If you saw that on camera, that looked cool. And all you have to do is rub it in. Okay, so just a short and sweet spray like that can work wonders. Now you can just do it on the cheeks like I do. And Snowy, I know she likes when I line her cheekbone because it does structure your face and it can do wonders to bring out your eyes. As you can see on camera, my sister looks very beautiful. Ah! Thank you, Taffy. So, this is the complete product. So, I'm just going to hold up now all the face products that we've used and again these are name brands thank you for helping Winnie also maybe one time you might even get to meet my mother Abby Winsker so anyways let's just grab together everything that I have used in this video really quick and done now Abby do you want to hold them up to the screen course, Taffy. So, anyways, there we go. One, which is the eyeliner. It is from Jolie, Jolie, New York. Yes, I think that's where it's from, if you could see that well. And next one, these are very cheap makeup brands, but that's because I got them for $15 in a huge pack and to me I thought they looked very nice and very promising so here is number two from the color institute it is blush and I used if you could zoom in this one right here that's what I just used on snowy's face and the final product which I did use as a sort of 
foundation. I know, or as I used it as like a bronzer, bronzer slash foundation. I didn't really want to use foundation on her face unless it was pure white. But sometimes even pure white can turn into disaster. Because sometimes pure white isn't as pure as they tell you. So if you could look right there. The white one is what we've used. So as you can see, the brand is by CoverGirl, which is one of the most popular brands, and it was the white one that we used. So anything pure white, you can basically use on your face, or if you are a um, other kind of dog. Now, <laughs> sorry, I have like the whole family sitting over here. Come here, Foo. So if you are another kind of dog, now this is my Aunt Bic. Thanks for helping, Winnie. So this is my Aunt Bic. And she loves to do her makeup just like I do. And again, use sprays if you want to. But for Bic, let me just put a small dab of bronzer on the blush brush and just highlight the cheekbones like so and as you can see well because of the lighting you can barely even see it but right there is where you would probably do that and let's get another dab and right here and you can even do a little bit on the bridge of the nose just to add some structured color as you can see and you can add the lightest pink just like i did for snowy remember the lightest pink is always the best now just a little dab right there should do wonders for your face and blend it in like so and if it ends up not even blending just add a little bit more and as you can see it is really doing good now she already put on eyeliner and there's a very popular style now for dogs to do that it's a very popular style for the eye makeup to just be the wing as you can see so Anyways, anyways, if you really want to highlight the face like that, then you can always add a bit more. Let me move the mirror. You can always add a bit more, just a little bit. And dabs like so, just lightly on the face. And if there is a little bit less, sometimes I even like to sweep the palette for all of them. Like go in the circle through the whole palette but i end up using one more than i use the others so if you could just dab right there and also you can get the bridge of the nose like i said before and so she's pretty much looking perfect and you can even add a darker tone the tone that i would suggest for aunt leah would be this one right here, as you can see, it's been used a lot and probably the most is this one. As you can see on the brush, that's basically what she would like to use and the type of blush. I don't even know why I'm doing this makeup tutorial right now. It is still technically quarantine and we're really not going So anywhere. as you can see, I added the blush bronzer and basically the same thing as Snowy but a different kind of bronzer and I did do more wings on Aunt Leah's face and it does look pretty perfect to me if you want to get the truth and I am very excited about how the way she turned out and please comment down below whose makeup you like the better or whose makeup you like best, Snowy or Leah. So, if you would please 
like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!